Philip Walbank is a musician through and through. He spent his entire life playing and writing music. Val Geist is a retired biologist, an avid fisherman, and a poet. And it's that last passion, poetry, that has brought these two very different men together. Uh, there's something, though, from poetry that comes from the German side, from the old minstrels. Yeah? And the minstrels considered that the greatest gift that could be bestowed would be poetry and not gold. Yeah? Gold was inferior to poetry. So it really only made sense that when Val decided to celebrate his community, that he would do it through poetry. Poetry that in the German tradition was written to be sung. He approached me to arrange two of his poems he had uh, written, one ultimate Port Alberni, celebrating the contest we had a number of years ago where we became the ultimate fishing capital of Canada. He's also got another very humorous one, salmon fishing in Port Alberni. Phil has composed and arranged a number of pieces for his group, Phil's Harmonics, but creating an arrangement based on Val's poetry, which would include voice, was challenging, although Val had written to the tune of a well-known folk song. I paste the, the, the words to the music, in fact. Uh, the music is an old uh, Irish ballad, uh, The Mountains of Morn, that's the most common uh, version, uh, but apparently it's been also sung in Italian and German. I can't vouch for that, but it's, it's in the literature. And that is what that one is based on. The second one was built on a Russian folk song, and that was m much more difficult because there's certain things I have to do to make it work. And uh, the salmon fishing, it's more, more the, his poetry is the climax in that one. Again, I have some spoken words in it because they're very important to tie the whole piece together. And both pieces, Ultimate Fishing Town and Salmon Fishing in Port Alberni, are coming together as the strings and the choir begin full rehearsals. I just really finished the string parts last week. I've been very busy with many things for the choir. But I'm, I said I'm writing banjo parts, and we have to record the, all, the song, all the voice parts for the choir, because we give them a tape of a bass or a soprano or whatever. So that requires quite a bit of time. I'm looking forward to hearing the whole thing, of course, in concert but uh, we're still practicing, no two ways about it, but it looks good. And it sounds good, as this ultimate gift for the ultimate fishing town prepares for its stage debut, a debut that Val hopes will help to polish up the image of this community that he loves so well. well we have something here in Port Alberni, and as I said, I, f I focused in both cases on the fisheries because this is something that this town is known for. And now I hope that one of these days when we have the Salmon Festival, something will be sung for heaven's sake. They do have the uh, band out there and nobody is singing about this. That's why I wrote it. <laughs>